Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own hammock straps. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is some paracord, a lighter, and scissors. I recommend Para 1100. Uh, you can get paracord 550 or different things like that. Um, I recommend 1100 because it doesn't stretch as much. I've used 550 and 750 before and you end up waking up on the ground. Go ahead and open up your paracord and what you're going to do is you're going to want to first find the center uh, of the paracord. So go ahead and stretch it all out and find the middle. Okay, after you found the middle of your paracord, you're going to go ahead and cut it right there in the middle. After you cut it, hold the ends and make sure you do this outside. But you're actually going to burn and light the ends on fire. And actually what you're wanting to do is to form, uh, you're just wanting to melt the ends so that it doesn't fray. If you don't melt the ends, it's just going to continue to unravel there and you're going to have a big mess on your hands. So go ahead and make sure you burn those. So after waiting just a few seconds, your paracord is ready to go ahead and tie the first and only knot that you're going to tie. What you're going to do is you're just going to take it like this, form a small loop like that, loop it around itself and pull the knot through so that you have that. Okay, and basically your hammock straps are now done. Now I'm gonna show you how this works from this point. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and loop it around just like you would any other hammock strap. And you're going to put this end through your hole and pull it through. Probably the trickiest part in the process is learning how to tie the knot that you're going to actually include in your hammock. Um, I don't even know the name of this knot, uh, so those of you that are Boy Scouts, you can go ahead and leave a comment below. But basically you're going to make a loop right like this, and then you're going to push that up to where it looks like this, and then pull that through, and then you'll clip your hammock onto what you pull through, pull down on the knot, and then out and that will hold your hammock in place. So the major advantage of this knot is that when you're done with your paracord or you're done with your hammock strap, you basically unclip it and pull down and you no longer have a knot in there. So versus doing this, and you can tie a bunch of knots uh, like this, just like we did with the other one, and you can just clip it onto there and you'll be just fine. The, the thing I don't like about this is then you have, you know, eight, however many knots that you tie like this in there and it's not as customizable as the other knot so it's just preferential um, but for me again you're going to take it like this loop it up just like that and then loop that through there and then when you pull down on your hammock strap it's not going to come undone Okay, cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this for me is obviously a lot better than spending, you know, $20, $25 on some hammock straps. Uh, they're longer, they're only $8, um, and you can do a whole lot more with just plain paracord rope. If you're out camping or doing different things, um, a single strand of this rope holds 1,100 pounds. So you double up on that, you could practically tow a car. I mean, so it's just crazy uh, how strong it is. So, so yeah check it out. You can get it at Walmart. You can order it online. You can get it anywhere. So 